morning. Hi, this is Pastor Lee of the Guiding Star Baptist Church, and I'm grateful to come to join you on this Good Morning Glory uh, service meeting, a uh, prayer opening that uh, my wife is has, has, uh, part of and given direction to. Uh, again, we thank God for all of you who are tuning in and dialing in to join us on this Friday morning, a day God has given to us, a day God has blessed us with, and we are thankful for all the things he has done and is doing and is about to do. I pray that when you visit this site, and I pray that when you're being a part of this site, that it be enrichment to you. Uh, here at the church, we are preparing for a few things, but uh, I, I promised my wife that I would take a few moments out to uh, address a few questions that may come about uh, about uh, persons who may have personal questions that they may send in to uh, her site and to her area, to her website, to be a part and to answer. Got a couple of questions that came in. One of them uh, read to us. It talked about. Uh, a person was worried about themselves and about, about how uh, they, they were divorced in 1984, married for 12 years, and have three children, and um, her, I think the, the, the father of the children died last week and realized she's still in love and questioned her sincerity because of abuse and how to deal with marriage, marriage in itself. Let me just uh, say a few things about marriage. I think it's very important that when a person is trying to understand uh, about marriage and how to shut down, how to deal with marriage, how to deal with divorce, how to deal with remarriage, those are a couple of questions that people have been asking in many cases. And first of all, they have to understand what is marriage. Marriage is bigger than just a license, bigger than a person saying my kind words one to another. Uh, it really is a depth to it. And, and I think marriage is entered in lightly. Uh, they uh, don't realize the importance of marriage. It begins when God himself in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, where God brought Adam and Eve together. That's a seal. That's a bond. And marriage belongs to God itself. It's, it's, it's a commitment between man and God and God and man. And when a person has a relationship with God, it's a seal that God covers. And I think that's very important. Uh, just to get papers at the courthouse or get papers in the legal system and sign off on it and uh, one come down the aisle, join the minister, say words of encouragement and a person get married. Uh, the question becomes, is that a sealed marriage, that a sealed by God? Because people think marriage license is, is one thing, but marriage seal of God is more important. And I think, I think we ought to share that with you and talk about a few things that I can suggest to you uh, it's hard for me to answer all the questions in a few seconds, in a few moments, but I will give you something to read. I think you ought to read Genesis chapter 2, uh, particularly around uh, verse 24, where it talks about the, bond, the bonding of Adam and Eve. Now, keep in mind, when Adam and Eve broke the covenant with God, they broke the covenant with God, that really broke a separation of marriage between man and God. Mm -hmm. That's where the fall of a marriage began to take place and then act. And as you read through the Bible, you see a falling away. And, and even today, it's more about 75% of marriages now are broken and broken for many reasons. But they all go back to the same source. And that source is sin. Sin can break a marriage. Sin can break up a marriage. Sin can break up a family. Uh, unless those two persons have a strong relationship with God, it would be a struggle. There are people who are... Christians uh, who marry persons who are non-Christian, well, that's that's going to be unequally yoked. So you're going to have that struggle. And you're going to have people who can say, well, I can change the person, or I can change the man, or I can change the woman to become a woman of God or a man of God. But that's going to be a struggle because that's not in God's order. That's not what the Lord wants us to, to be a part of. And so I recommend that in itself. There's another piece that I'd like for you to look at for your reading in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Talked about marriage, talked about the remit of the marriage itself and how marriage is put together and how about families coming together. And I thank, I thank God for people struggle with the ideal uh, about uh, being remarried or his, how, what, what should a person get a divorce. There are many scriptures that deal with those areas. Um, we will not be able to get into all of them today. Uh, God, God don't like the, the divorce. That's one thing you be read in the book of Malachi. Uh, where well, the Lord talks about that in itself in the book of Malachi, that God hates divorce, and that's it. You find it in Malachi chapter 2, verse 16. Again, Malachi chapter 2, verse 16, where God hates divorce. And so, and actually what God is saying, not only did God hate divorce between man and himself, but also God hates the divorce between man and God. 
And that's something important that, that there's a lot of divorce going on more than just the marriage or itself. Uh, there's a lot of divorce going on between man and God. And God is trying to bring man back to, back to their places, back to the right place in the Lord. And so you see in the Bible from Genesis chapter 3 all the way to the book of the Revelation, God is always trying to bring the relationship back. And so you will find that in the scriptures in those areas. And so we would recommend that you do read those. I think that would be a place that you can uh, uh, to, to, to first look at. Um, then another question came up also, and our question is, why is it that those closest to you hurt, hurt you the most? Well, that's a good, valid question, the person said, why those are most closest to you hurt you the most? Um, it is because there's a trust. And when the person build a trust and become let down, there's a greater hurt in that person or persons because of the break of trust. Keep in mind, this wasn't the first time if you've been hurt and you've been hurt because of the trust of someone close to you, you got to keep in mind how Jesus felt, how the Lord felt himself for when Jesus Christ was uh, in, in the judgment hall. Uh, Peter denied Jesus, uh, who he was close to the Lord, that he denied him not just once, uh, not just twice, and not just three times. So until, until Jesus reminded him about what was going to take place. And so there is always a hurt when, when man leave God, God is hurt, and people don't think about that. And so, yes, you will have sometimes people who are close to you um, uh, let you down and you become hurt, and that's because you build a trust. Now, always we keep in mind that people are going to be human. People are going to be who they are. Uh, some will, 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 will do things invertly. Some things will do so deliberately. Uh, some people get close to you just to sabotage your direction. And that's why you as a person have to stay prayed up, stay in tune with the Lord, and ask God to give you directions, and the Lord will keep you. So those are a couple of the advice I would say or share unto you is that keep your hands in God's hand, trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding, the Bible talks about. Amen. Not, but, but, but in all that way, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. And so when you talk about how to deal with people who learn, that hurt you along the way, uh, this ain't going to be the first time you've been hurt. ain't going to be the last time you've been hurt. But keep in mind, greater is he, which is Christ, in you, and then he that's in the world. Amen. So if you have Christ in your heart and Christ in your life, you will soon discover that, that God will give you the victory. And that's the most important thing is. The thing is, you have to live in the world of sin, a sinful world. But this is not our home. For we have a home God has prepared for us. And every day... God allow us to go to a test. Sometimes a hurt can be a test for you. A hurt can test your faith. A hurt can test your belief in God. And so I recommend to all the listeners, have your good church home, a good place where you can study God's word and learn of God's word. Uh, don't just take surface um, uh, advice because a lot of people have a lot of advice. Get into the word of God. Get into the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, and the best way to do that Get into a place where someone can teach you the word one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, a small group setting where you can learn about the areas and, and, and the trust in the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer as I sign off myself. Again, I thank you for dialing in. I thank you for sharing. Uh, send your comments. Send your, send your response to, uh, uh, to my wife's uh, section. I think it's a good morning, Glory. Send, send it in and let her, allow her to send them to me, and I'd be glad to respond. This is Pastor Lee of the Guiding Star Baptist Church. I, thank, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and we pray blessings upon you. Let us pray. Father, Lord God, we pray for those who are listening, those who have dialed in, those who are part of this good morning glory. God, we ask your blessings upon them. Bless that sister who sent the message in, sent the questions in. Bless those persons, God, who had a concern. God, we ask you, God, to be in God as you would have it to be. God, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. We thank you, God, for what you have already done. We thank you, God, for what you are doing, God, and we bless your name for what you're able to do. Now, God, go with these, your listeners. Go with these, your followers. God, go with them, God, and bless their home. Keep them in all peace and all harm. This is our prayer, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you again. This is Pastor Lee. Thank you for allowing me to share with you on this Good Morning Glory. May you have a wonderful weekend, and go to church. Go to church. Go to church. And if you're not in church, if you are in church, go to Sunday school. Be the first one in Sunday school. Amen. And be a proud Sunday school goer. 
and, and bring somebody with you. We invite you to Guiding Star here in Kansas City, Kansas, 3035 North 27th Street, here, uh, here in, a, in the best part of the city. May God bless you. May God keep you. Pastor Lee, thank you.